Tunisia's president, Beji Kaid Etsepsi, has proposed giving women equal inheritance rights. That's despite protests from thousands objecting to any changes to Islamic law. The bill will be debated in parliament next month. The North African country already grants women more rights than other nations in the region, but society remains deeply divided, as Adnan Chawashi now reports. In August 2017, Tunisian President Beji Qaida Sipsi created the Individual Freedoms and Equality Committee, COLIB, in charge of preparing a report on legislative reforms concerning individual freedoms and equality in accordance with the 2014 Constitution. One year on, the head of state proposed the enforcement of equal inheritance rights in accordance with Articles 2 and 21 of Tunisia's Constitution, which provide for the civil character of the state and full equality between male and female citizens. I suggest drafting a law guaranteeing equality in inheritance. The guiding principle shall be to enforce equal inheritance rights while making room, though, for enforcement of Sharia. A bill will be submitted to the House of the People's Representatives for consideration at the upcoming parliamentary sessions. Experts in constitutional law explain that the head of state's initiative is meant to make the staters free to choose either equal inheritance rights or Sharia law. In the meantime, thousands of activists took to the streets to show support for equal rights between men and women. We respect Islam. We reject any form of discrimination against women. Tunisia is the Arab world's champion in women's rights. The civil character of the state as spelled out in Article 2 of the Tunisian constitution is non-negotiable. We are for total equality between men and women. The ongoing debate has divided the public opinion. The report of the Individual Freedoms and Equality Committee, Kolib, caused fury across Tunisia. Many imams, scholars and ordinary citizens have rejected the project. Accordingly, equal inheritance is anti-Islamic and it paves the way for a more aggressive legislation towards the pillars of Islam. Legalizing equal inheritance is a first step in de-Islamicizing Tunisia. Legalizing homosexuality and fighting against any signs of Islam is the next step. We will not accept this approach which can destroy our society. Tunisian president said that the personal Ceres code also needs to be revised to keep a priest of social developments and legislation in force in line with the constitution of the Second Republic. The code of personal status is a series of progressive Tunisian laws aiming at the institution of equality between women and men in a number of areas. It came into effect in January 1957. Beji Qaid said he will push for total equality between men and women in a first for the Arab world where legislation derived from Islam gives male descendants twice the share of females. Analysts say the project has caused turmoil that will continue under the parliament's dome. Admin Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.